So after a little while, uh, your roly poly is going to start to look like this, a longer piece. Obviously, this is nowhere near being finished, um, but just so that I can show you how to cast off. Um, obviously, it would be much longer. But for casting off, it looks like this. You would start just like you would a normal knit row. So you would go under the fence of the first stitch, wrap around, catch the sheet, back you go, off you leap. There's one stitch. Now the second stitch is different. Um, after you finish it, so it's not different, you do two stitches, um, then you take the first stitch on your right needle and you go underneath like you'd be knitting left-handed, except for you come through the front. So you got your first stitch on there. I need You need to pull on this string to make sure that second stitch is not going to come off. And you leapfrog the, that first stitch up and over the second one. Leapfrog it over is what I tell the kids. So then you do it again. You always want two stitches on the right hand needle under the fence, catch the sheet, back you go, off you leap. You have two in your left, uh, right hand. Then going underneath the farthest stitch and you leapfrog it over the other one. I'm not sure if I'm explaining this right. There's a lot of verses um, that you can say to cast off, but I find them to be a little confusing for kids. Sometimes you go under the fence, catch the sheep, back you go, off you leap. You always want two over here. Then underneath the very first stitch, and it goes leapfrog over. Oops. So that happens sometimes underneath. Leapfrog it over. You can also have kids do this with their hands. So you go under the fence. There's two. And if they want to use their fingers, they can grab onto this stitch and pull it over that way. Sometimes I find that a little harder, but with their little fingers, it can be easier. So you go under the fence, catch the sheep, back you go till there's two. And then under the very first stitch you did, and it leapfrogs up and over. And you'll see you'll start to get a straight edge at the top where you've been casting off. I'll show you the last two. Under the fence, catch the sheep, back you go, off you leap. And then under your first stitch, pull, 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 and it leapfrogs over. Last one. And then you take this empty needle and you go under that first stitch. And it leapfrogs over. Then you'll have this last stitch. You can pull so that your string is sort of long and you can cut it there. I'm not going to because I want to complete my roly poly and then you would just pull the last loop through. Um, when your roly poly is really long, the idea is that then you can roll it up and it will become a really large circle and kids can play with it that way, okay?